What's up guys, it's Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm back here on my road to 30. This is a series where I go through my life year by year in each video, and I talk about the experiences, memories, and the decisions that have come to shape the person that I have become today and right now I'm 29 motherfucking years old I will be turning 30 this year and I felt that this was a good way to not only look back but get a little bit personal with my subscribers and share some stories maybe you can relate maybe you can't but sometimes the stories are funny sometimes they're a little bit depressing but you know what that's how life is sometimes life has its ups and downs and this year year five episode five of my road to 30 I'm five motherfucking years old and it's my first day of school, and everybody remembers their first day of school because their first day of school is pretty much one of the first monumental things that they've done in their life. Except for me. Uh, my, my first day of school was actually really, really dull. I remember walking into my classroom, and, uh, you know, I remember seeing all the other classrooms from, like, when my brother was in school, because he's a few years ahead of me, so was my cousin. I was actually the youngest, until one of my other cousins came, but since she was a little bit younger than me, and she was a girl, we didn't really hang out or talk very much, so, uh, you know, my whole opinion of school was, like, what you really think about with school is, you know, you have rows of desks, you have the teacher's desk, you know, usually in the front of the classroom or on the side, but, uh, kindergarten was a little bit different. They kind of had the, uh, the classroom set up a little bit kiddier to kind of like to kind of bring kids in and make them feel a little bit more comfortable uh instead of having like you know the desks with the little storage underneath or lockers we had cubby holes <laughs> i know what you guys are talking uh we, we used to have to like bring fucking blankets to school but like we couldn't afford blankets so uh, i had this purple towel that i used a really uncomfortable motherfucking towel but you know what the longer it stayed in my cubby hole the more comfortable that towel got all year long and actually i wish i still had that towel because that towel was fucking amazingly comfortable you, you, everybody like used to fucking spread these goddamn blankets out on the floor when they take their naps in kindergarten yeah that's right we took naps in kindergarten i don't know if they still do but uh <laughs> they, they they fucking made us take naps and i wouldn't really take a nap so i would just ball my little fucking towel up into a pillow because nobody had pillows they used to just kind of you know lay down and kids napping on the floor wake up you know drink some fucking milk off a tree you guys know what this is and if you don't have a kindergarten experience like that then i kind of feel sorry for you because kindergarten was the fucking shit you walked in you kind of played with a little bit of toys for a while then it was like nap time you wake up you have a snack put together some fucking blocks and play with some fucking toys and shit you, you know what i'm talking about and uh the one point that i'm trying to make is uh you know i didn't really like school because uh you know th this is actually my first uh time to deal with public humiliation public motherfucking embarrassment i was uh I was embarrassed quite a few times early in my kindergarten school year, and uh, that, that's kind of why I, I strayed away from, you know, liking school, because uh, you guys remember back in school, if you did something, you were stuck with your same class, usually at least all through elementary school, and then, you know, if you're dependent upon how the areas in your, uh, you know, town are made up, or the boundaries of the school lines, uh, you might end up going to a different middle school or high school than them, but typically, you're stuck with these motherfuckers for at least five or six years, so anything you do during that fucking time will be remembered, and it was. So first off, let's talk about the first time I was publicly embarrassed. Well, it was Halloween, and, uh, you know, the parents took their kids, and they took them home, and they brought them back in their Halloween costume. And we used to have to kind of walk around the neighborhood, and fucking, you know, the goddamn neighborhood around there would come out, they'd watch these kids walk around in the fucking, you know, Halloween costume, and act like they actually gave a shit, uh, even though they probably didn't, they didn't give a fuck about these kids paraded around the fucking neighborhoods. And if you know anything about, like, the 80s back then, our fucking, our fucking Halloween costumes where's the type of shit you see today like i know they have like hot ass like fucking latex masks and shit but i see a lot of really cool like fucking you know fluffy fucking you know uh spider-man with the big pecs for the kids and shit it's it's actually fucking hilarious but uh ours back then consisted of a plastic mask that would basically suffocate you it had two small little pinholes in the nose so you could breathe. The eye holes were usually little slits and the mouth hole. <laughs> 
the mouth hole actually literally looked like a little rectangle and you could stick your tongue through it and it would look like a little red light that's on my blue snowball microphone right now. That's why I laughed, because I looked at it and I was like, that actually looks like the little fucking slit we used to have. Well, anyway, these masks were hotter than shit. It was basically like taking a piece of plastic out of a box and just, <laughs> and just stretching it across your face and poking like little tiny holes so you could breathe. Not the best fucking choice for a Halloween costume. But anyway, since my mom worked and uh, she wasn't able to come pick me up because we didn't have a car still, I used to ride my bike. Cause right. I was in kindergarten riding my bike to school, uh, but I used to follow my brother because my brother, he's, uh, you know, older than me. He had friends, you know, fucking used to follow him even though he made me truck and trail like five, six paces back. Anyway, that's not real fucking important, but... What I was saying is, we brought our costumes to school. I wasn't really supposed to. My mom told me not to, but I did anyway. Because I didn't want to be the only motherfucker to just walk around with a fucking paper plate mask or something that I had to make in the fucking classroom. So, I took my fucking, you know, my whole outfit with me and I got changed. And, uh, <laughs> I, guess, I guess since I was young, I didn't realize that, uh, you know, I, sh I should have probably kept my shirt underneath, like, the plastic overlay on top. No, I fucking, I got into this plastic outfit with nothing but my fucking tidy whities <laughs> I had nothing but my tidy whities on, and uh, I stuffed my clothes into my backpack, and I put it in my cubbyhole in the classroom. So here we are, about a block and a half away from the school, trekking around, and you have the motherfucking neighbors out there, you know, standing, waving. They're usually like 80-year-old people that are getting ready to die. They don't have anything res better to do for that day. So they're just waiting outside to see these kids walk past. <laughs> and I fucking, I can't even say this with a straight face, but I, 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 I am notorious for not tying my shoes. I, I should say that right now. I still do this to this day. I don't tie my shoes. And <laughs> I, I tripped and I got caught on the piece of plastic on the fucking ALF outfit. This is the, I forgot to tell you, this is what makes it even funnier. I was ALF. Do you know who ALF is? ALF is the alien from a cartoon show in the 80s that used to always try to eat cats and he's like obsessed with Elvis and shit. But anyway, I'm in my ALF costume because ALF was the shit right now. They even had ALF puppets at Burger King. Go ahead and look it up. Alf Puppets Burger King. Put it into Google. You'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, I had all four of them, by the way. I had fucking all four of them, especially cooking with Alf. That was my favorite. But that's not the topic of the story. Anyway, we're fucking walking. I trip. It gets caught underneath my shoe. And these are like really flimsy plastic overlays. And it rips all the way up the side from the fucking back of my calf to my armpit. And I'm sitting there walking around. With the wind blowing the back half of my fucking alpha outfit, and it's blowing me out. And you could just see nothing but all underwear. And I was wearing my little white underwear with fucking, you know, the <laughs> had like the red elastic on the legs and on the fucking, you know, and on the waistline and shit. So there I am, middle of the fucking street. Fucking, well, not street, but on the fucking sidewalk. We're about a block and a half, two blocks away from school. And I'm sitting there with, like, half of my fucking ass showing out to the whole class and to the fucking old people. So, uh, you know, one of the teachers there called and they were like, oh, you know, grabbed me by the shoulder, fucking rushed me back to the fucking school so I could go get changed and everything. But, you know, pretty much the whole school scene that I was walking around in my ALF outfit with nothing but a pair of tidy whities underneath it because I was too dumb to fucking take off, to actually keep my fucking clothes on underneath this goddamn Halloween outfit while we're trekking around the goddamn school in fucking <laughs> in our Halloween costumes in kindergarten. And, uh, you know, I, I got made fun of a lot for that. And there's also a lot of shit else that I used to get made fun of in school. Number one, uh, because we used to get free lunch. You guys remember free lunch? If you don't remember free lunch, 10 to 1, you probably have both their parents. And one of them have a decent job. Or, uh, you know, you come from a decent area, you know, where you can afford <laughs> to go to school with lunch or pay for the lunch. We used to get free lunch, which means we had to stand in a long line before getting into another line to get our food and when we got food it was less food than the regular people got and by the time we got to sit down with this food from waiting in two lines to get our free lunch 
There is no motherfucking time left to eat. We have to eat in like four motherfucking minutes before recess or give up our motherfucking recess to eat. And it's kind of like a give or take anyway. And it didn't start giving us regular fucking, uh, you know, portions, you know, equal to everybody else. Because this was back in the 80s. They were able to do shit like that to cut corners. But uh, by the time I got into high school, they actually fixed that. But it didn't matter because I used to just go home anyway. I lived like a block and a half away from my high school. And I used to just go home and get high. But that's not the topic of the commentary. We're going to talk about that later on in my road to 30. But yes, these publicly humiliating things that followed me all throughout my elementary school actually got me my first suspension. It was a one-day suspension in kindergarten. That's right. I was that. I told you guys I was a bad kid. I was a bad kid. <laughs> I was like, all right, this kid... Started making fun of me because, like I said, we, we didn't have a lot of money. So, uh, you know, we used to shop at the Goodwill and this fucking Salvation Army, secondhand stores, all that shit. And uh, it was photo day. And my mom sent me to what she thought I looked cute in, which had to be a red fucking Hawaiian shirt with white little fucking flowers. <laughs> it, was, it was bad. And uh, so there was some kid that was making fun of me. And if you guys remember photo day, you guys remember these little black combs they used to give out to the boys. Uh, I don't know what they used to give to the girls, but they used to give these little black combs out to the boys. They're like, here, fix your hair before you take the picture. You make sure you make sure you look good, motherfucker. No, anyway, they were, we were standing in line, and this motherfucker started talking shit. I had my black comb in hand, and I, I just, I lost it. He's uh, fucking, all year long, I was being made fun of for showing my tidy whities for having fucking free lunch and a bunch of other shit like bringing a towel to school to sleep on and not be able to fucking you know bring show and tell shit to fucking show and tell you know what I'm talking about bringing toys in for show and tell well because I fucked up with the ALF costume my mom wouldn't let me bring any toys to school cause she was like you know we're poor enough if you lose shit we're not gonna have shit so you gotta leave the shit at home, which I actually kind of understand now, but back in the day, you know, it sucked to be that kid to be like, hey, you know, I can't, I can't do show and tell, because I ain't got shit to show you. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, like I said, it all came to a boiling point at the end of the year on photo day when they're getting ready to take everybody's pictures for, like, the yearbooks and shit like that. And this kid started talking shit to me, and I got suspended because I took my little black comb, and I took this shit... I swiped it right across his cheek, across his nose, and down to his mouth, and it left a big fucking scratch, like, it was bleeding and shit, it wasn't deep, like, he didn't have any, any fucking stitches, or no scar, or nothing, it was just like a cat scratch, but it's enough to get sent home and suspended in kindergarten for one day in your first year of school, this pretty much, like I said, sets the tone for the rest of my school experience. I was fucked in front of the begin with. <laughs> I was fucked from my school career. From the fucking beginning. And it sucks. So, my name is Jay. More than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. This was episode 5 of my road to 30. If you could throw a thumbs up on the video. I would highly appreciate it. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. My name is Jay. More than after kill. And I'm going to see you guys later.